Hi there, here's the newly launched TicWatch E3 and it's running Android Wear OS. Now I call this a true smartwatch, not that others aren't, but first let's know what ideally is a smartwatch. Firstly, it tracks your workouts, it sends you call alerts and notifications, you can answer calls and talk using your watch, which is something I know many smartwatches already do, but with this, you can do a lot more. And the biggest feature is the ability to install apps. Yes, there's a dedicated Play Store for watch apps. You can install apps like Strava, Google Maps, Spotify, to name a few. And then you also have built-in Google Assistant, kind of like Alexa, but here you can do things way beyond. Some of you might be even surprised to know that the TicWatch E3 comes with a Snapdragon Wear 4100 chipset with 1GB of RAM and 8GB internal storage. Can you even imagine the performance? Let me share everything about it, starting with the build. Round dial with a polycarbonate body and it's also noticeably thick. But the good thing is that it's really light, just 32 grams without the straps. Matte grey frame with an amazing textured side. You can also see a microphone on the side. A tiny air vent to keep the internals from not overheating and a speaker on the other side. Also in the center is the heart rate sensor, SpO2 sensor and charging terminals. The cable aligns and attaches magnetically as you bring it closer. The straps come with a buckle design and are made of soft silicon material, 20mm size and can be swapped with any other third party bands. Just pull the hook and it will release. Two buttons on the side, when you press the top one once, it will let you access the apps or menu double press and it will brighten the display and you press and hold to access Google Assistant. The bottom one can be custom set for your favorite app or even workout, kind of like a quick access button. Coming to the display, 1.3 inch LCD display with a resolution of 360 by 360 pixels. It's actually quite sharp and crisp, but I would have preferred an AMOLED display. The good thing is that it's very vivid and bright enough to be used outdoors. Also, it comes with always on board, which is just amazing. But remember, battery life will take a major hit. The only thing that I can nitpick about the display that I didn't like is probably the bezels. They are quite thick and kind of stand out. But with a black watch face, they kind of blend in too. Coming to the watch's biggest strength, the hardware and software. It's powered by the Snapdragon Wear 4100 chipset, 1GB RAM and 8GB internal storage. Now with that hardware and Android Wear OS, it's just a breeze. This is one of the smoothest experiences I've had with a Wear OS smartwatch ever. Super smooth animations at 60fps and trust me, seeing is believing this kind of fluidity on a watch display. Now coming to the features, well from where do I start? Firstly, IP68 rating so you can wear it in the pool and it also comes with swim tracking. There's 24 by 7 heart rate sensor and an SpO2 sensor. There's also a built-in GPS, GLONASS for more accurate workout tracking. Then there's a tick exercise app with tons of workout options. Now all these things we have seen in other smartwatches. Let's see what we don't get. Let's start with making and receiving calls. So now you can go to the phone app, dial a number and press call. Or simply go to the contacts app, select a contact and click call. You can talk directly from the watch. You just have to make sure that the watch is paired to the phone and you're in the same room where the phone is. Similarly, you can answer an incoming call and talk from the watch as well. The speaker is decently loud and quite audible. Outdoors, there might be a problem though. Also, the other person didn't complain of any echo or disturbance. Now, some of you might say that we have seen this feature in many other budget smartwatches as well, but trust me, it's way better on the TicWatch E3. Then you get Google Voice Assistant on your watch. You can also enable OK Google by voice. Firstly, you can control all Google smart home devices, you can ask it general three-way questions, you can set alarms, and you can even ask it to make phone calls. Yes, you can ask it to make phone calls from your watch. That's amazing. Then the watch also comes with built-in Wi-Fi support, which means downloading apps or watch faces or even updates is super fast and it's not dependent on your phone. Usually what happens is when you download an update or a watch face, it downloads to the phone and then it is transferred to the watch via Bluetooth. So it makes a huge difference with Wi-Fi here. Also with TicWatch E3, you can reply to messages, emails and even WhatsApp. And we also get emoji support. Amazing! Once you receive a message notification, you have an option to open it on the phone or simply reply from here. You can send a message by voice, answer with a preset message or even by emoji. You actually realize the value of this feature only after using it. No need of reaching out for your phone. It's just amazing. Then coming to the Play Store, first it shows you the apps you already have on your watch. 
then there's a recommended list you can see telegram spotify facer now facer app is a separate app for watch faces and let me surprise you there are many more like these giving you access to unlimited watch faces then there's a viber app shazam app even microsoft outlook nokri yes bank google fit and even strava app directly on your watch wow then there's nav music app where you can transfer offline music to your watch and listen with your bluetooth earphones also you can pair your bluetooth earphones to the watch directly and listen to music from them great for those who don't want to carry their phones for a run or to the gym i've even installed a game 204 it it's quite popular and yes you can play it directly from your watch display but remember this would affect battery life a lot now the play store has so much content frankly it's impossible to even show you all but the store open doors to endless possibilities the watch actually also comes with google pay support for nfc but currently in india that feature is not available once that feature is available you will be able to make payments through google pay through nfc through your watch it's going to be superb all right let's have a quick look at the interface but before we begin you should know the interface is vast so fasten your seat belts press and hold on the home page to change watch faces and the first thing that you can see is that it's so smooth so if you need to download more you come here some more watch faces right here and if you need to download more you can download a watch face app from the play store coming back swipe from up to access quick toggles settings brightness levels you can change the brightness from here coming back then you have the speaker vibration theater mode do not disturb and flight mode if you swipe from down you can access your notifications now check that out and you know the best part you can even reply to your notifications from here you can delete you can reply or you can open it on your phone it's amazing swipe right to access google assistant press this button and speak swipe further you can see your daily activity the weather events heart rate and hold this if you want to change or add more of these cards okay now we press this button to access the menu we'll go right on the top and we have tick health and if we go in here we have the activity and more details about the activity check that out okay then you have tick exercise where you'll have all your workouts the collection is huge then you have heart rate tick sleep tracking tick oxygen that is spo2 tick zen app is to know your stress levels then you also have a tick breathe app then you have a tick hearing app the app will tell you the kind of volume or the sound that is there around you whether it's a dangerous level whether it's low you can see right now probably i'm speaking too loudly then you have alarms then you have tick care agenda calculator contacts essential in essential you can turn on this essential mode when the battery is low like it is right now and this will automatically switch to essential mode when it goes to 5% okay find my phone fit breathe fit goals heart rate fit workouts we have a flashlight where the display turns into a flashlight hand wash phone app play store reminders settings and in settings you have display sound apps and notifications gesture connectivity accessibility general settings personalization storage we can see all the apps that we have installed system going back stopwatch timer translate voicemail weather 2040 that's a game facer keep notes messages my tuner shazam spotify google maps and strava and first thing that you need to notice is that how smooth the interface is can you see that it's buttery smooth and if you want to interchange them you just hold start wobbling and you can change as per your choice there you go So it's one of the smoothest interfaces experiences that I've had. It's really amazing. The watch comes with 380 mAh battery and typically lasts for 2 days. Now that might not sound a lot because we compare it to regular budget smartwatches, but frankly 2 days is the best you can get with a fully stock smartwatch. No complaints at all. You can pair this watch with an iPhone and with an Android phone using the Android Wear app. Yes, this app is available on the Play Store for Android and for the App Store for iOS. but with iPhones there are some limitations when it comes to its features my suggestion is stick with this watch with only android phones to get the best out of it then there's a mobvoi app that gathers all your workout and health related data 
activity, exercise, sleep, heart rate, SpO2, stress. In accounts, there's also settings to share data with Google Fit, Strava, and RunKeeper, which is great. By the way, you can also download the Google Fit and Strava app on your watch and share data directly as well. All right, final thoughts. So it's a smartwatch packed with features and it's running Wear OS. It goes to the next level. By the way, this watch is running Wear OS version 2.2 and will get the Wear OS 3.0 update as well by the end of this year, which is great. The Mogwai TicWatch E3 is priced at $18,999, which might come across pricey for some, but trust me, for the features, it's not. If you're really looking for a smartwatch with app support, message replies, and smart, smooth, clean OS, then this one is totally worth the price. I'll leave the links below in the description. If you're looking to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, feedback, or even complaints, mention it down in the comments. All are welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.